Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's Monet. <laughs> I didn't just hit the wall. I did it. Hey girl, I don't know if you're noticing, I'm just looking a little extra scrumptious right now because oh, I got my brows done. I got them freshly laminated. Shout out Saya. Excuse me. I got my lashes done. I don't think my lashes honestly will ever look better. They have never looked better. Girl, Natalia literally, she doesn't come to play. And she really like, I told her this vision in my head because last time I showed my lashes, they were so beautiful. They were so natural. They were perfect for antique. I wore them. I got them done right before vacation. That was my first time getting lashes on in like five years at that point. So I was like, I was really excited. After that last set, I was like, I think I want to go bigger. I want to go bolder. I want them to look a little more dramatic, a little more catty, a little more dark and dense and wispy and voluminous. But like we were going back and forth. So I was like, okay, because like there's so many different kinds of lashes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Anyway. Anyways, I opened my eyes after and I was just like, just gagged. Honestly, I really was so shook. I was so shook at how good they, like, I'm obsessed. I'm so sorry. I gotta just like, make me perfect. Make me perfect on IG. Love you. Mm, so I'm really just feeling like that bitch right now. Like, I'm feeling so pretty, like, when the eyes are done. Because the last few vlogs, they were struggling. I literally had, like, one lash left and my brows were, like, overgrown. I also just got a facial. Okay, so the skin is like hydrated as fuck. I just got a facial done. Like my forehead is giving boing oing oing. <laughs> Close curl. If you know, you know. I'm actually in New York right now. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed I'm in New York? Like I literally feel, this is why, oh my God, I have so much I want to talk to you about. And the thing is I actually have to film a foundation campaign as well. So I'm kind of just like trying to think of how I want to do this video because at this point my eyes are done, my brows are done. And all I need to do is just like the skin. And if I need to film a foundation campaign, but also like do my makeup for you guys, I'm trying to figure out like. But at this point, let me just like talk to you and just set up my makeup. I actually have some champagne to pop too because we have lots to celebrate, girls. Like we just have lots to celebrate. I honestly feel like with my life, a lot of the times I'm just like, what did I do to deserve this? What did I do to deserve this? Like, I just can't believe my life a lot of the times. And this bottle of champagne is to you. This bottle of champagne is to us. Like, this is for all the girls that just been rocking with me from the beginning. And like, what? My life has changed so much in two years. Can you believe it's been two years since I've been like doing content? Like really just putting my heart into it. And I don't know, a year ago today, like I just, I was graduating nursing school and like, I didn't know what the fuck I wanted to do. And it still feels like yesterday. And you know, in my last video, I literally, I bought my first house in the last video <laughs> and I don't know my family is healthy I'm so happy I'm in love I'm chasing my dreams I have you guys like I'm just so grateful I'm just so grateful I'm just like beautiful things are just happening <sighs> so always got something to celebrate I'm actually about to go out to dinner too so you know I love a good, good little pregame but this is to this is to us this is to me and you and all the love and support like goes both ways like i believe in you i'm proud of you i'm rooting for you here's to the rest of the year <laughs> let me pour one for you girl this one's for you cheers mommy cheers It's good as fuck. So basically, let me think about this. Let me think about, about this because I want to talk to y'all. So basically, let me tell you about tonight. Let me tell you about what's right in front of us right now that I need to figure out. So I'm gonna go meet a friend first on Hook. That's up the street at 6 p.m. And it's currently almost 4 p.m. And then I'm gonna go meet Book for dinner after at 8 p.m. So with that being said, I need to shower before all of this because I showered like two days ago at this point. Ew. <sighs> Ew. So I'm about to shower now. My hair, honestly, okay, it's not looking that horrible, but like, girl, you know this shit is ratty. Like, what? What? Am I really gonna leave the house like this? Like, I'm not trying to do a pony, so I'm really not in the mood for a pony. But can I slay a pony? Am I cute enough for a pony right now? Should I just do a little effortless? 
think I'll do a little pony. Maybe I'll do a pony. I think that she needs to be pony. Like she can't be let down like this. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna shower my little body, put a little outfit on, and then I'm gonna report right back here, and then we'll just finish the face. And I just like Kiki. I really don't even feel like I don't need to do a whole face and beat and everything. I just want to talk. I just want to talk to my girls. By the way, this is um the hotel bathroom. Look how fucking stunning this is. Like the shower and like the details, like all the super beautiful, like earthy vibes, all the woods. Like now that I'm in my house era, y'all, I'm taking notes. So let's see, I literally got here yesterday. I have so much to fill you in on actually. I'm like, what is going on in New York right now? Um, I'm gonna need this. This is basically my hair, my hair travel case. This is my makeup travel case. And then I need my shower travel. This is about a shower. And then my speaker. Let's get the little music vibe right. You know what I'm gonna play. You already know what I'm gonna play. And then these are the clothes. I think I'm gonna wear this to get ready. This is like a little jumpsuit. I love a good short, little short like romper bodysuit. I have fresh sweats for tomorrow. And I also, and I packed two outfits for dinner. So which one do I want to wear? This one is, I can only remember one of the two outfits that I packed and I literally did it yesterday, so it's kind of concerning. This one's cute. Oh, no, no, no. You know I'm wearing this one all day. Oh no. Actually, you know what? Actually, you know what? I'm wearing it, I'm wearing it. I literally wore this exact same outfit with a ponytail fashion week. If you know, you know. This is like one of my favorite sweaters stripe but like when i take a cover photo on instagram in something i feel like it's very hard for me to wear it again without feeling like i did that i already did that maybe i'll wear a bun with it maybe i'll wear an up to like a little bun okay and then i literally am wearing the same fucking thing i'm gonna wear the tall boots with it because it's just such a safe fit it's such a safe comfortable outfit it's no big it's a real chill night anyway i'm gonna shower now hey girls fresh out the shower can you believe i have a tattoo i just can't believe that Sometimes I regret it, sometimes I don't. <laughs> Most of the time I don't, but. Hi, Bookie. I literally put the foundation on. Can you even, it doesn't even look like I'm wearing foundation. Like that NARS light reflective foundation is so good. It's so good. Like y'all know that's been my favorite for a minute. Let's get into the glam girls. I need to get a new makeup bag soon cause she's just been through it. She been through it. And I think for my makeup today, since I, since I just got my lashes done today, I don't want to put liner on top of it yet. I'm gonna just keep them fresh. I think I'm gonna do sculpting, blush, concealer, maybe a bold lip. And I don't know, I kinda wanna plan my makeup in. Like I I have so much stuff in here that I don't end up grabbing cause like it's not in my everyday routine. So I'm like, how about I just give them some light? Let them live. Like this highlighter or like this brown liner. I really like this brown liner for my waterline. Okay, let me actually, let's actually just talk. Let's talk about the past week, what I've been up to, and then what's ahead because y'all are not ready. I feel like I've been on my real chill mode lately. It's about to pick up. It's picking up very quickly. I'm going with the Mario sculpting. This shit is so good. Can you tell? It's like so creamy, buttery, like, uh, Mario. I actually went to Orange County last weekend for a wedding. It was Buki's best friend's wedding. And it was so cute. It was my first wedding I've been to since I literally was a child. And also first wedding I've been to like in love. So I was so soft and like, honestly, I was crying and shit. And it was just so beautiful and just like such a beautiful celebration. Like I've never celebrated life like that and just love like that. Like, oh, a lot is bang on this hair today. And I really need it to come through for me. <laughs> Flash forward, do we slay this hairstyle? Please let me know. Okay, but I found this really good tutorial. So we're gonna break it down. First step, we're gonna section the bangs. I'm trying to do a lot of bangs. I'm trying to get a lot of fringe. I feel like that's pretty good. I'm gonna just clip this away. Low key, I feel like, okay, wait, I feel like this is promising already. Like, I'm honestly gonna put a little mousse in the root. It might be a risk, but she gives a lot of volume if done right. I think I'm gonna do a side part for show. Yes. Now for the actual hair. I'm gonna actually go with some air dry cream just to like tame my hair. I really want this to look polished. It's less intense than like gel and less like structured than mousse. So she kind of did like the upside down. Does that look about right? Sister, sister, sister. This is why I never do this kind of hairstyle. It's not my wedding day. It's not that serious. And now I'm gonna just start curling shit. Let's just take the bangs out. I'm sure I'll feel better about it once the bangs are out. 
it's not really about the bottom of the back. It's about the party in the front. And please don't play on my face right now. Okay. 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 Let me stop being so mad. It's coming together just a little bit. Do you know what? It kind of looks cute as fuck. Not the bang yang. The bang yang. What do you guys think? I'm gonna do my makeup in the next part. If you guys wanna get glam with me. She's getting ready for a wedding. And I'm so excited. I haven't gone to a wedding since I literally was a flower girl when I was like four years old. I'm trying to look really pretty and like celebrate love. Like stop, I've been so fucking soft lately. Let's get these vibes right and let's glam, girl. We're actually wearing all black. This is my dress right here. At first I was like, is that not just funeral attire? Like to a wedding, like it's kind of like, should I add this pop of bread? I'm feeling just a little crazy. Oh my God, so crazy. <laughs> Wait, that gives. This lighting is really good. I kind of like this like really warm lighting. Girl, I'm trying to have a romantical night. Whoa. Stop I'm between these two lashes. Yes, I'm putting lashes on top of my extensions again because I'm getting them refilled next week. <gasps> Why am I looking real? Mm. Which lashes do I wear? They honestly are super similar. I think I'm gonna go with these ones because they're just a little more flirty. Yeah, I'm obsessed. I got a cute little friend. Y'all know I love a dewy beat, but sometimes like the powdery matte just gives. But this color corrector is so good. From Sigma. Baby. Wait, don't look. I literally said don't look. <laughs> you look so good. Aww. Damn. You better look sure. fine. I'm not yeah. trying to match you, that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Let's see, I have this new technique for my foundation, just to make it like thinner and lighter, cause like, yeah, I, you know me, I'm like, the less, the better. Oh, the sculpting is giving. Yo, we actually rented a car for this too, like for the weekend. We're actually in Orange County, I didn't even tell you. We're on the West Coast this weekend. Yeah, the bass is looking really fucking good right now. Okay, thank you, baby. I think I'm on the face. Let's see, let's take a little banging out. Okay, so let's get dressed. Are you have my heels on? Yeah. Aww. I love a good reason to gather and just like be happy. Oh, I hit pan. Girls, I hit pan. Oh my god. It was in it was in Orange County near where my family is. You know like when I went you know where I went for Christmas to hang out with like my brothers, with my dad and my brothers and stuff? It literally was right around the corner. And Buki actually was planning to meet my dad, which was like, whoa, you're meeting my father? Oh my God, the skin looks crazy. <laughs> you're meeting my father. No one, no man has ever met my dad. I am his first daughter. Um, so that's all I really need to say. So, but also I feel like they know enough about each other that I'm just like, shoot the shit. I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> Survive. Just survive, that's all I'm gonna say. My dad's a super cool guy, like, from what, I mean, you guys have seen him a few times in the vlog, like, he means a lot to me, so I was really excited, but my dad actually ended up being out of town. He literally was like, Monet, this is the one weekend I'm traveling. And I was so sick, I was so sick. But one day, we actually pulled up on Moss. We actually ended up pulling up on Moss. Because Moss ended up being at Knott's Berry Farm. Remember when we went for Halloween weekend? Me, Ari, Moss, and Manat. It was so fun. It was so scary. And Moss was like, we actually are going on Sunday. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Have fun. I didn't tell him I was going to be on the West Coast. So we ended up, I ended up texting my dad, like, coordinating. I'm like, where's Moss right now? Like, tell him to put their location on. Like, I'm trying to pull up and, like, surprise them. 
So here's some footage of us surprising Moss and his friends. Duck! Duck! I literally, she literally was like, there's no duck. No, 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 we're jumping. <laughs> Yeah, they're like this. <laughs> <laughs> My little camcorder. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, but that literally, we had such a fun day, like, I don't know, I just feel like that's core memories, like, I hope Moss always remembers that, and I just feel like it's really important for me to show up, like, for my younger siblings, because they're so little and they're so impressionable, and, like, I just want to be a part of their life, even though we're across the country from each other, you know, I just want to make sure that, like, they know, sister was there. So that was super fun. I am like, I can't get over the skin right now because like the facial really just has it like and this lighting is gorgeous in this bathroom like I really like this me like I'm taking notes y'all I really like the black accents. I like the hanging lights right here. I love the white brick like this is my color scheme white black brown greens Best believe like you know that was last weekend and We just had a really good time I really do like the west coast we had in and out like I remember having in and out when I lived on the on the west coast but I don't remember it tasting that fucking good like it was so good I was like excuse me what kind of crack did you guys put in this <laughs> Oh. Oh. I remember it being this good. Then I came home, and let me tell you about this week because actually, I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram story. I said that I was gonna do, that I was gonna be in New York. We're doing a pop up. You know what I'm saying? Like. I was like, I'll be in New York this week. I'm doing a pop-up. And you guys, I'm not even gonna lie, I was so nervous. I look crazy. Like, why did I conceal like that? But I was so nervous because it was my first, like, it basically gave me and greet where it was like, you know, I'm gonna be the only creator there. And I'm kind of like telling my girls to come meet me there. Even though it's like not about me, it's like about the pop-up. But I was just so nervous because I'm like, wait, wait, I'm giving like time and location of where I'm gonna be. Like, y'all know how I am about that stuff. I'm already a little... So I had to put up my story. I put up my story and was like, okay, come meet me here. And today's actually Thursday, the day before the pop-up was supposed to be. And if you guys are keeping up with the news and stuff, y'all saw that New York, there was actually fires in Canada, okay? And Canada is like, you know, ge geographically, like right across the water from New York. It's like right over there. And these fires were so bad. These wildfires are so bad that it caused the skies in New York to be orange all the way down to Philly too. All the way down to Philly, like air pollution is like, worse than 9-11 it was reported to be worse than like 9-11 and like that whole so they kind of like they ruled it as being like unsafe to be outside and like we have to wear face masks and stuff again and i'm like what in the covid what in the covid is going on like i already was kind of just like it was one of those situations where i'm like i have to just boss up and do this meetup like no matter how nervous i am like we're gonna slay girls like i really had to just like hype myself up i was so nervous but this was one of those things where i was like oh my god i didn't think that there was anything in the world that was gonna get me out of that situation and like, you know, I was ready to do it. But part of me was just like, <gasps> I was nervous girl, but like, okay. We tried to reschedule it and I really want to do a, like a proper meet and greet one day and like really, really just meet y'all and see y'all. And I was ready. I really was ready. I was really ready to do that in New York this weekend. So, I mean, I'm just like, what are the odds something like that happens? Like what? So I hope everyone's okay. I'm still in New York right now. So I basically came here, like I flew home. Got ready, like Alan was coming over to style me and everything. Like, we are ready to slay this event. Yeah, unfortunate, unfortunate events happened. So, let's see. Okay, the base is looking cute. So, next week, y'all, I'm entering my travel era again. 
okay so be prepared we're gonna be all over the place like yes I just bought a house <laughs> but we're not gonna be seeing that house anytime soon anyways it's not closing for another like month and a half so I have I'm gonna just travel now and then sit my ass down when it's time but next week I'm actually going on a brand trip we've been on a brand trip in a minute there was a lot that came through but I I feel like yeah I've just been more selective on the ones that I decide to go on so this one actually next week is with freaking actually right you guys are gonna have to wait and see actually no I'm gonna give you two girls a little sneak peek I'm gonna give you two girls like, exclusive because I usually don't post until like at least a day later at least like you know I'm settled in and I'm there but this one next week we're actually going to Italy <sighs> girls we're going to Italy with NARS girl with NARS like do you guys remember NARS is my first brand trip I ever went on do you guys remember I will always shout out that vlog because it took me three whole days to edit like day and night day and night it took me three whole days to edit and it was my first brand deal it was my first brand trip I got 900 views on the video in the first like month <laughs> you got 900 views and I was so proud I was so happy to be there I was so confused as to why I was there I was just like what is going on like why am I here but I'm very happy to be here but also just like make it make sense what's going on so to be invited on NARS is like on this brand trip with NARS is just super special because I feel like you know there's only so many spots and there's only so, there's so many creators out there it's just like I got to go again I get to go again I get to go again like oh my god I'm so grateful I'm so excited <laughs> Y'all know how I love me some NARS, like, so that's super, like, my first time in Italy. The only thing is that I did, my goal was to go to Italy for the first time with Gabriel because that's his homeland. Gabriel was born in Venezuela, but basically grew up in Italy. But grew up in Italy and, like, that's his whole heart and home. His family's still there. And I always just wanted to be a point to, like, go to Italy for the first time with Gabriel. Because I'm like, I want him to show me the authentic way. But it would be different if I was going to Sicily because that's where he wants to show me around. So we're going to another island, which... Another part of the coast that I'm super excited about. But I'll have to wait and see. And uh, I'm just so excited. So that's next week. Let me just... Honestly, I feel like I'm done my face. Let me just... Yes, like you guys know, like makeup forever. I have a lot of makeup favorite makeup brands, but I will say like my top five are NARS, of course, Makeup Forever, Mac, Makeup by Mario. I don't know. I'm gonna leave that last spot blank. I'll say those are my top four. But the face is looking cute, and I'm honestly ready. Like pretty decent time. Taking chances. Like oh my god, I love this sweater. I love this sweater so much. I have no shame about it. This is my favorite sweater. Mm. And I need like my chains. Like I just need my chains to layer on here. But y'all remember I did this look fashion week? I figured we can finish kicking on the bed because I finished my makeup. Damn, these lashes are insane. Like she really did her thing on these. Ah. So yeah, we got Italy next week. We have Cali again. We have Hawaii. We have London. We have Ohio. I don't even know if I'm gonna tell y'all everywhere I'm going, but I might just tell you week to week, but just know that it's five weeks, literally straight of traveling. So buckle in girl, okay. Oh my God, I went and saw Little Mermaid. That shit was so good. Like Halle Bailey, I love you, dude. And like that whole movie, like I think it was perfection. I'm not gonna spoil nothing, but it just gave like perfect amount of time, perfect drama. Like, it wasn't too much. It wasn't too sad. Like, oh my god, when the movies, like, a lot of times Disney movies fuck me up. Remember when I watched Raya the Last Dragon in one of the vlogs? Like, I don't know how much y'all be watching my vlogs, but one of those vlogs, I was sobbing. My mom was like, Monet, get a grip. I was, like, sobbing my eyes out. Um, and I just don't like that feeling. I don't like crying over movies. Like, don't do too much now. And it was really good. The whole villain plot was really good and quick and cute. Hallie did really good. The vocals were giving... Prince Eric gave, loved it. And I had to get some inspo from that movie too because I have something fun coming up. It was kind of like the fact that I was a little bit of homework in there. And also Hallie follows me on TikTok. I literally was like, huh? Huh? My little mermaid? I just think she's literally a little angel. I freaking love her. <gasps> Marissa and Quan just posted their labor and delivery. What's up guys? So Girl, I know what I'm watching right now. I know what I'm about to watch. You know, I was thinking too, like my YouTube video this week is going to be kind of like the pop up and like meeting everyone and like my days in New York. I had like dinner plans 
I had like, I had a lot of plans around New York. I was gonna film like the styling sesh with like Alon and everything. Everything literally fell through. So I'm like, well, what are we, so now it's just chit chat and what? I'm so excited to see how we slay in Italy because it's gonna be a fun trip. Kiara is coming with me and I just, I don't even know what to expect. Oh my God, and on this Italy trip too, Ugh, the girls that are going, like, you guys are not ready. If you guys are YouTube girls, you're not ready. It's literally giving YouTube, like, link up. That'll be the vlog for next week. So make sure you guys follow me on TikTok, Instagram to keep up to date. And then you get the full behind the scenes on YouTube. You already know how it goes. So if you guys put my little notifications on this week, if you guys want to stay up to date, because it's going to be lit. I'm about to go meet up with the girls. I'm about to go have dinner and just hustle right now. I got some things I want to turn over. You know what look cute with this outfit? A pair of glasses. A pair of like actual like reading chunky glasses. Like I should wear glasses more. Random thought. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm excited to see you guys next week. Thanks for being glam with me. And I hope you have the best day. Bye.